see what we got. So this actually went to 19. Okay. What do we get? Throwing damage. No! What the f Why were I not throwing damage? That is a best in slot relic, it's just you need to get one with like plus three to smite, so good luck with that. Added an affix, okay. Oh my god, it actually hit smite. Uh okay. Okay, just let's let's just pretend the throwing damage one is not there. <laughs> that that was not likely. I'll tell you that. <laughs> There's a lot of stats that can roll on that, and that one is considered very rare. Improved? It improved the smite. Okay. Okay. Improved? Oh my god, it hit the smite again. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, we need like three more smite hits in 15. That's actually kind of likely. Actually, kind of likely. Okay. Streamer mode. No, I don't have streamer mode on. Improved. Damn it, it actually hit the throwing damage. Okay. I mean, alright. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh, that hit the smite again. The smite is at tier 4, I believe. So any smite levels from here on out is plus one skill, which is insane. Damn it, hit the throw. Stop throwing. Proved. Oh, smite plus two. One more and it's insane. Two more and it's godlike. Those are skill points for smite. It's very hard to get those. And that's a very rare stat. How's it growing? You kill stuff. Weaver's Will is kind of like legendary potential, but it's completely random. And each point of Weaver's Will added an affix. Cold resist. Okay. Not the best, but it's okay. So every added an affix. That's what we get. Physical resist. Okay. Those are decent. Decent. Those are two resists I'll actually probably need. Void and vitality is great. Yeah. Uh, so eight weavers, it means it's going to level up a random stat eight more times. We need it to hit smite twice. So that's... Well, it sounds like it's the average result, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. That's not exactly how probabilities work, and also... It can max out a different stat to alter the percentages. How are we doing? Plus three smite. One more. One more. I mean, it's really good. This is a really good relic right now. So the highest weaver I've ever seen was like 22 or something like that. You can get it that high, right? I think I've seen something like I've, I've seen low twenties. I think it was twenty-two. I don't know if that's the highest 
28. So just like four stats with T7s. Holy crap. I've never seen that. That is that is something else. Stand down or die. What did it hit? I'm afraid to check because we're getting pretty low on weaver rolls right now. Let's do one more and then we'll check. Plus four. <laughs> That's a plus five smite relic. GG. The resists are not useless because I don't get those from vitality. So they're they're okay stats. They're not like the best, but they're they're okay. They're actually okay. And uh The throwing damage is obviously terrible, but Okay, what do we have? We still have four left. I mean, yeah, I'm probably not ever going to replace this, so I might as well put in the skills. We're getting resists. No, we're getting throwing damage. I think throwing damage might be capped, though. Oh no, throwing is now at 32. So that is, that is tier 7. 32 throwing damage. Is there any case where you'd want smite and throwing damage? The trigger smite builds, I guess, maybe? Javelin smite, interesting. done with this. We are actually done with it. Let's see what we ended up with. T7 throw, T7 smite. That's like T4 cold and T1 is... Yep. That's still amazing. <laughs>